Just yesterday, Google silently released this recurrent Gemma model. The thing which caught my eye about this model is that it is based on a new architecture. So in this video, I'm going to talk about this new recurrent Gemma model plus its behind the scene architecture. So let's get right into it. This Gemma model or recurrent Gemma model is a family of open language models built on the recurrent architecture we will, which we will see shortly. And this has been developed at Google. Both pre-trained and instruction-tuned versions are available in English language. Like Gemma, recurrent Gemma models are well suited for a text generation task, including question answering, summarization, and reasoning. Because of its novel architecture, recurrent Gemma requires less memory than Gemma and achieves faster inference when generating long sequences. If you look at the model card of at Hugging Face, you will see a lot of um, benchmarking information like this where this recurrent Gemma has performed quite well on various common sense reasoning, question answering and various other benchmarks. I will drop the link to it in video's description. This model, as I mentioned earlier, is based on a thorough research, which is about Griffin. And I have done few videos on Griffin and also the Gemma models on the channel. If you're interested, please search them along. I think you will like them. So what is happening here in this research is that it is trying to solve a very novel, uh, not novel, but quite an old issue, I would say. Recurrent neural networks or RNNs they played a central role in the early days of deep learning and natural language processing research and also achieved practical success in many applications, including Google's first end-to-end -end machine translation system. But in recent years, both deep learning and NLP have been dominated by the transformer architecture, which interleaves multi-layer perceptrons or MLPs and multi-head attention or MHA. Transformers achieve better performance than RNNs in practice and are also very efficient at utilizing modern hardware. Transformer-based large language models trained on massive data sets collected from the web have achieved remarkable success and you have already seen it over the last one year. Despite their successes, transformers are difficult to scale efficiently to long sequences due to the quadratic complexity of global attention. Additionally, the linear growth of the key value cache with the sequence length makes transformer slow during entrance. Although multi query attention or MQA partially mitigates this issue by reducing the cache size by a constant factor, the cache still grows linearly in sequence length. Recurrent language models present a compelling alternative as they compress the entire sequence into a fixed size hidden state which is updated iteratively. However, to replace transformers, new RNN models must demonstrate not only comparable performance at scale but also achieve similar hardware efficiency. That is where this new research comes handy. And this is the architecture of this new research or the new novel method. In this research, the researchers are proposing a new recurrent layer which is called as RGLRU layer around which they have designed a new recurrent block to replace MQA. They built two new models using this recurrent block. One is Hawk which is a model which interleaves MLPs with recurrent block and Griffin which is a hybrid model that interleaves MLPs with a mixture of recurrent blocks and local attention. Both Hawk and Griffin show power loss scaling between held out loss and training flops and you can read further in this paper about all this uh, intricacies of this internal model if you look at this architectural diagram of this model all their models contain the following components a residual block which contains consists of two components the first component takes a hidden state x and applies an rms term and then they have temporal mixing block anyway so after residual block, they have an MLP block and then they have a temporal mix block just as I said. While both residual block and MLP block are the same across all models, they consider three temporal mixing blocks. 
फर्स्ट इज एम क्यू ए और ग्लोबल मल्टी क्यूरी टेंशन सेकेंड इज लोकल स्लाइडिंग विंडो एम क्यू ए एंड देन देर प्रपोज रेकरेंट ब्लॉक एज पार्ट ऑफ द रेकरेंट ब्लॉक दे यूज द रियल गेटेड लीनियर रेकरेंट यूनिट और आर जी एल आर यू विच आई मैंशन अबव विच इज अगेन न्यू रेकरेंट लेयर इन स्पाइट बाय द लीनियर रेकरेंट यूनिट so the residual block defines the global structure of their models and is inspired by pre norm transformers after embedding the input sequence they pass it through n such blocks and n denotes the model's depth and then they apply a rms norm to produce the final activation to compute the token probabilities they apply a final linear layer followed by a softmax the weights of this layer are shared with the input embedding layer as you can see in this diagram now i already have showed you its benchmarking information now just to get back to the model i tried to install it on my local system but it seems this recurrent model architecture still is not part of the transformers library and um, arthur zucker has already did a pull request to merge this recurrent jama into transformers library as you can see on your screen but still it is not present i guess it is not really deployed in the main branch so as soon as they deploy the main branch i am going to um, reinstall or upgrade my transformers library and then i will also show you the installation video so just waiting for the, them to you know i think they already might just waiting it for it to deploy it. anyway a real good uh, interesting model because i'm not sure if you saw the latest uh, talk of that guy nvidia ceo wong about you know what he expects to be happening in the next few months or years he believes that people will be working on you know around uh, alternates of transformers because there are a lot of limitations especially when it comes to scaling and dealing with long context and the thing which we just mentioned earlier around kv cash so he believes that uh, people will be and companies will be working on the alternate models architecture they he wasn't much hopeful about that uh, and also his guest about that state, state space mamba so that was too complex and still lot of things were in uh, you know was he state around this so i think in this situation this new architecture recurrent gemma could be a game changer but let's see uh we will get it installed as soon as that gets deployed and we have that option and then until then thanks for watching if you have any questions please put them in the comments if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching